All right, this is part six of uh, my Blender Game Engine Python programming tutorial series. And in this series, we'll, this lesson will just uh, modify the code a little bit and kind of clean it up and get it organized. Now, you should be familiar with this from the other Blender Python tutorials that I have run for you working within Blender Render. That's bpy.code instead of bge.code. All right, so if not, we'll just take a look in here and see what we do. So normally, what I have in here, I have all this stuff lumped under this one method called main that's our starting method and it gets executed down here you know I could just put a comment execute the main method like that down here that's all that's doing the program comes in it gets down to this routine here and it, then it does everything with it within these borders here but now it's kinda of getting disorganized I want to kind of maybe make this a kind of its own routine so let's just do this notice the indentation in there let's define a different routine and you know let's just call it def something simple check object positions like that and end it with a colon like this and then suddenly all this code here is within this method called check object positions alright what I do here with zero zero how do I get that what is that there how did they get on its own line I better go check that hmm alright so and then I'm gonna have to execute the various methods alright and so within main now now within main, I'm going to put this code instead. All right, check the ob object positions. So this kind of stands alone all by itself down here. And now this is this is now the end of the check the object positions method, like that. And that way, this kind of all by itself, right? And then, and then the, this up here is end of the end of the main method. Let me see. And and then within main, I'm going to have to call this other routine. So maybe I'm checking for all the keyboard stuff, and then indented here, I'll say check object positions like that and no colon so now it should do the exact same thing except what I've done I've encapsulated this method within its own little code block like that and then I just call it from within main here and it should just call it over and over again so let's just see if that actually works see if our code's still running all right so I press P there it goes still running let's see if it resets and is it resetting no so I have an error let's go see the console it says line 41 global name check object positions is not defined alright let's see why so we'll come into here and maybe you're familiar with this let's see and that is because and the reason this would be let's see check object object check object <laughs> positions okay there we go all right so now let's run it again is it going to reset hmm I don't see it resetting let's see It's not resetting. All right, I'm still doing something wrong. Let's go see what the console says. Now it says line 41 checked ob check object positions cube object is not defined. All right, so let's see what I did there. Cube object on line 55. Line 55. If cube object, so cube object is. So therein lies the problem. So I've defined 
uh, cube object out within main so it doesn't know it. So I'm going to put main. I'm going to put this up above here, or I'm going to do. Let's do this. I'm going to just change the location of main and put it down here. So all the main program is doing right now is x is looking for the keyboard event code and then up in here this stuff gets executed first so in order to do that they're going to have to bring these back to the first line because they're not within the definition of a method and and they only need to get executed once coming into the routine anyway like that okay so now let's save that real quick and run it So it's getting set. It's blasting it. You can see it's blasting it away. Holy cow. It's barely blasting that one. Why? Let me move this. I must have moved that down. No. Let me move that up. Let's try that again. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's all, that's all we're really doing in this code. We're just modularizing it a little bit like that and kind of putting them in their own encapsulating them into their routine. Next time what we could do is we could just call main and it could just do something else. Well, we'll do that in the next lesson. All right, I'll see you then.